a problem here. 11 worst NASA accidents. The Antares rocket was launched at 6.22 Eastern Standard Time off the coast of Virginia at the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport in order to send supplies to the International Space Station. But not everything went as planned. As you can tell from this video, the rocket releases a ton of exhaust and everything seems to be going just fine during the initial period of the launch. Only within 6 seconds from leaving the ground, the bottom of the rocket caught on fire causing it to explode in mid-air. Needless to say, the supplies didn't make it to the space station on time. Luckily, this was an unmanned spacecraft, so it did not result in any injuries, but a lot of damage to the space station was done. This was most likely caused from old faulty engines. The Delta II Explosion With so many dangerous trips to space with rockets, carrying so much highly flammable rocket fuel, there's bound to be extremely catastrophic explosions from time to time. Reaching outer space is certainly no easy task, if you think about it. The Air Force Delta II rocket was launched from Cape Canaveral and was carrying an $81 million satellite, the UGPS-2. This rocket soars through the sky with over 200,000 pounds worth of thrusting power. It was approximately 1 to 2,000 feet in the sky when suddenly an explosion happens. The explosion creates a dangerous gas of hydrochloric fumes. NASA prefers launching pads in isolated areas away from human settlements, close to oceans, in order to avoid any collateral damage. In this case, only cars in the parking lots and small NASA buildings were destroyed. The Vanguard Explosion In 1957, the U.S. Navy tried a rocket launch of their own in order to get a satellite into space, and this attempt also failed miserably. This happened only a year before they developed NASA, and was probably the main reason the organization was developed. The rocket could not produce enough thrust in order to launch. This is what caused the catastrophe. Keep in mind this was only a few months after Sputnik struck fear into the Americans, and was also another failed attempt to match Soviet space technology. Within a few seconds, the tanks ruptured and exploded, completely destroying the US's hopes that they would ever get their first satellite into space. Converting Catastrophe This case proves that even NASA rocket scientists are capable of the simplest mistakes, and it ended up costing them a whopping $125 million. In 1999, a Lockheed Martin Mars orbiter was lost due to a miscommunication of which units of measurement to use. The navigation team at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory used the metric system in meters and millimeters in their calculations, while the people who designed the aircraft in Denver had given crucial instruction information in standard American feet and inches. This caused confusion on an astronomical level. As a result, the spacecraft was lost in space, then lied in a pile of rubble on the surface of Mars. Instead of entering Mars' atmosphere at a tilted angle, it entered too directly, causing the spacecraft to be ripped to shreds. This goes to show you how easily NASA can lose countless hours of research and a potentially useful spacecraft over a preventable error. The Hubble Space Telescope The Hubble Space Telescope was launched into orbit after eight years of construction in 1990 in order to provide clear images of the universe without the Earth's atmosphere getting in the way. Here you can see how clear the images from this miraculous space telescope was able to pick up. This is responsible for some of the clearest images from outer space that we have to this day. But for quite a long period of time, this space telescope was not working. It wasn't only a technical failure, but also a leadership failure as well. Old instruments were switched out and new pieces were replaced, hoping to make it even better. They also neglected necessary maintenance that was needed. In 2004, the machine became inoperable due to the telescope imaging spectrograph that was installed in 1997. This device combines the camera with a spectrograph and was broken from a power supply failure. Eventually, it was fully repaired, but not after spending years floating in space, not sending back images to NASA. James Webb Space Telescope When will this thing ever be launched? Each time you check it, it seems to be costing taxpayers more and more money. What's supposed to be the next generation of space telescopes, and eventually replace the Hubble telescope, is currently under construction. But is this satellite worth waiting for when we could be funding other projects in space? The current launch date is in October 2018, but construction started in 1997. It was supposed to cost about a half a billion dollars when it was first planned, and was also first set to launch in September 2007. The budget continued to grow and launch dates keep changing at least a dozen times. Many scientists are beginning to express their concerns on how much this will cost, and if it's even worth it. Explorer S1 On July 16, 1959, at the peak of the space race, the Americans were struggling to keep up with the Russians 
As you'll be able to tell from this video clip, launched from Cape Canaveral, this was meant to be the response to the Soviet Sputnik, but the cargo would never reach orbit. This spacecraft carrying a satellite lost control right away, within 5 seconds of the launch during the blastoff. This is when it began performing mid-air flips. What was supposed to make it all the way to outer space only went about 250 feet. That's less than the length of a football field. Everyone was extremely lucky to have not been injured from this event. A short from the rocket's guidance system caused it to not fly to its intended direction. A few blunders by NASA would eventually allow them to perfect their rocket systems. After the failure of Juno, the Saturn rocket was developed to support the Apollo missions which led us to the moon. The Genesis When looking for answers about the universe, scientists and amateur astronomers tend to look out to the stars. Why not do more studies on the closest one, the Sun? In August 2001, the Genesis was supposed to help answer a few deep questions about the formation of the universe but ended up in a pile of debris in the Utah desert like you see in this photo. So what happened here? The main reason for the Genesis spacecraft was to collect particles of solar wind, then bring them back to Earth for extensive research. A few things they wanted to look into was the exact ratio of oxygen, nitrogen, and noble gases during various phases of solar activity. Even though the sun is mostly made of hydrogen, NASA wanted to know more precisely what elements made up its composition. This would further lead to the origins of the sun and the planets. So how did this important spacecraft crash? The parachutes did not properly deploy in September 2004, but they were able to uncover some tiny particles from solar winds. Several pages had already been published about this. Moon landings erased So possibly one of the most important moments in human history accidentally gets erased by NASA. Oops. The original recording of the moon landing of July 16, 1969, which was the first manned mission to the moon, no longer exists. Don't worry though. New digitally enhanced copies of the original broadcast look much better, claims NASA officials. The first images of Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walking on the moon were very grainy and blurry anyways. In 2006, NASA admitted that no one could find the original video. They then went on to admit that the high resolution images of the first moonwalk was probably erased for electronic data from a satellite. It would basically be like taping over your wedding day videos to make room for a rerun of Friends. Apollo 13 Apollo was supposed to be the third moon landing until unexpected events took place. The spacecraft was launched April 11, 1970 from Kennedy Space Center. This mission was eventually abandoned due to the ruptured service of a moduled oxygen tank and considered to be a failure. Everything seemed to be going just fine for the first two days while in outer space. Oxygen tank number two exploded, causing tank one to fail. This affected the crew's supply of electricity, light, and water all while being 200,000 miles away from Earth. Houston had a serious problem on their hands. With oxygen seeping out at a rapid rate, it was clear the moon landing had to be cancelled. Despite experiencing some discomfort from cold conditions and lack of food and water, the crew members eventually reached splashdown gently in the Pacific Ocean near Samoa. And now for number one. But first, be sure to subscribe for new videos every day. Challenger Explosion Being one of the more modern NASA accidents, this one was much more severe than the rest. The mission had originally been postponed due to mechanical and weather issues, but January 28, 1986 was the day. They finally launched the Challenger Space Shuttle from Cape Canaveral. Seven crew members were on board, including a teacher from New Hampshire. The liftoff began smoothly. A critical failure in the O-ring seals on the solid rocket booster allowed a spurt of rocket fuel to ignite the fuel tank. Then suddenly, a huge fireball is seen in the sky after 73 seconds of flight. There were no survivors from the crash and the incident happened live on TV. Despite the horrible tragedy that took place, many lessons were learned from this incident that will help Americans advance their spacecraft technology.